Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Spontaneity. I'm a Spontaneous One. Welcome back to another card judging. We're opening one of my favorite sets, Core 2021. Um, has a lot of good cards in it, a lot of mo the more expensive cards, and it's a change of pace from the normal packs we've been opening. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Uh, I haven't opened one of these in a couple months, actually. I think the last time I opened one was from a box. So we have, oh wait, they do the uh, special cards in the front. So uh, we have the land right here. And then I'm, I like the lands, the full arts. I'm going to shuffle the cards, basically place them in a different order, just because I don't want to like get the rare first. Okay, uh, first card, crash through, red. Uh, creatures control, gain trample, tell on a turn, draw a card. Uh, it's a one cost draw a card, and you get the bonus of just having trample on all your creatures. Overall, really good card. I love running it in red because they need plenty of trample. And drawing a card for one cost is just a beautiful bonus. Uh, Concordal Pegasus, one colorless, one white, flying, th uh, one three, just Overall, white's good with flying, and there's a lot of cards that gain bonuses with, for the more flying you have. So not a bad card. I still prefer the one before that. Uh, Tome and Ninema. Uh, three colors, one blue. Uh, creature Spirit, 3-3. Three, three. Tome and Ninema can't block as long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn. I dislike it for the fact... Wait. Can't be blocked. Excuse me. Uh, I like for the fact... That the more cards you draw, you actually gain advantage from, and being a 3-3, three, three, unblockable, beautiful. Uh, only if you've drawn two or more cards this turn. So you do your normal draw, and then get a bonus. Crypt Lurker, three colors, one black, creature horror, three, four. When Crypt Lurker enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature, or discard a creature card if you do draw a card. Basically, I'd get rid of a token, to then draw a card. Uh, that's the only reason I would run this, is to draw. Overall, not great. Uh, tracked out. One color, one green. Sorcery. Scry three. Reveal the top card of your library. Uh, then reveal the top card. Of if it's a creature or land, draw a card. Uh, basically, you want to add a creature or land card to your hand. Just change the order. So top three cards. If none of them are creature or lands, you just put all of them on the bottom of the deck. Then hope you draw a creature or land, or you just put the other two on the bottom or whatever it is until you get the card you want. Uh, Silent Dart, I love this card. Uh, tap one colorless, uh, tap four, tap, sacrifice it, deals three damage to target creature. I like it because it's a cheap artifact, and you get a lot of bonuses the more artifacts you have, depending on the set you're using. So overall, being a one cost, it's not a great effect, but you're guaranteed to have it on the field for a long time. Uh, Grasp of Darkness, two black. Uh, target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Overall, decent. You can kill a four or less toughness. Especially if it has indestructible. But overall, decent. I would run it if I'm trying to just destroy them. Beautiful full, full art. Uh, Sandra's Magmut. One colorless, one red. Uh, Elemental Dog. 2-2. Two, two, tap. Deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Overall, I love the art. And it's a dog, so I can't complain. Uh, next one, Swift Response, one color, one white, instant destroy, target tapped creature. Always good. It's just a free destruction card. I love it. Uh, I would run that in just white decks. Siege Striker, two colors, one white, human soldier, double strike. When Siege Striker attacks, you may tap a number of untapped creatures in control. Siege Striker gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each tapped creature this way. Uh, you basically get to pop a bunch of tap effects to give this guy one, one counters. Decent, not great, especially for being white. I'd prefer that in more of a green. Uh, Havoc Jester, four colorless, one red. Creature Devil, one of you sacrifice a permanent. This deals one damage to target creature. Five, five. Overall, good in red decks because you can be sacrificing a lot of creatures. I'd mix that into black too. One of my favorite cards from this whole set uh, Light of Promise, uh, two colorless, one white. Enchantment or Enchant Creature. Whenever you gain life, you put that many 1 1 counters to target creature. Overall, great in Commander, especially if it has a uh, lifelink on it. Put that on your Commander. Uh, the specialty card I got is Pack Leader. Uh, one colorless, one white, creature dog. Uh, other dogs in control get plus one, plus one. When Pack Leader attacks, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to your dogs this turn. It's a 2 2. Beautiful card. Uh, 
Uh, I love dogs. I want to build a new dog deck. And lastly, uh, Mangar the Diplomant. Three colors, one white, two, four, lifelink. Whenever, oh, that's also a shiny rare. Beautiful. Uh, creature, legendary creature, human cleric, beautiful combination, two, four, lifelink. Whenever opponent attacks, uh, with creatures two or more, those creatures are attacking you or planeswalking control, draw a card. Where your opponent casts their second spell each turn, draw a card. This is beautiful for drawing cards. This is my number one. Uh, also, it's a mythic. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is definitely my number one. Uh, drawing cards is great, especially in white, because they don't have enough draw cards. Uh, pack leader, definitely number two. It's shiny, it's a rare. Uh, plus, I like dogs. And lastly, light of promise. Uh, all three cards were in succession. That's great. Uh, because it's great at gaining advantage, especially if you're running a lifelink deck. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Thank you for all the love support you give us. Bye!